we're going to Japan. All right, you guys. Hi, everyone. How are you? We are starting this vlog off leaving from Hawaii, and I am so excited to be bringing this vlog to you guys. So we actually did not fly Japan Airlines. That was the only airline that showed we were actually going to Japan, so I recorded that. We flew through Zip Air, and by the way, guys, if you're confused on why we're leaving from Hawaii, we started the trip off for my parents' 25th anniversary in Hawaii, and we actually come back to Hawaii at the end, so we did like four different stops on our trip so if you want to see the Hawaii parts of the vlog stay tuned until the end but yeah we were actually kind of nervous because it said zip air was like the spirit of flying to Japan but it was actually really nice nicer than a lot of American Airlines don't know what that means but yeah and then I was admiring the airport food because we don't get that in America anymore but unless you're flying first class but we are in Japan oh welcome to Japan oh my god I was instantly so excited landing it was about a seven hour ish flight seven hours 30 minutes but landing to all of this was so exciting and surreal and we did have to wait an hour for a limo bus but first stop i stopped at the little mini mart in the airport to get goodies because we did have to wait for the bus and i just wanted to try everything and see everything here are those famous pancakes that you always see on tiktok and i decided to get some treats to try out like look how cool at this point we were exhausted and definitely starving so I got the famous egg sando, okay. Okay, I do not know how to do this. Okay. And then I got this honey lemon tea. You guys, this was beyond delicious. One thing about Japan, first of all, it is so green. I was in awe of the beauty of how green Japan is as a country. It is so, so beautiful. But one thing, another thing about Japan is their food is gonna be bomb anywhere you go. A 7-Eleven, a mini mart, anywhere delicious so we did fly into narita airport which is an hour away from tokyo but the traffic honestly took about an hour and a half in this limo bus and it had restrooms and everything so i definitely recommend if you do fly into that airport to take this limo bus instead of the trains because it's a little bit less confusing than trying to figure out the trains and be overwhelmed and honestly i just chilled it had wi-fi i was able to take in the scenery and i really liked that i flew into that airport because because as you can see this is Tokyo this is us driving into Tokyo and I was just in awe of everything but if we flew into Tokyo Airport I probably wouldn't have been able to see like the more countryside and how green everything is I definitely want to plan another trip to Japan going outside of Tokyo but I was just in awe of everything as we were driving into Tokyo so cool it's such an amazing city with such amazing architecture food people I was just honestly people watching out the window the entire time and yeah we're almost to our hotel in Shinjuku and by the way guys most of this vlog is gonna be narrating just like this so I hope you enjoy me we just got to the hotel if you can't tell we're staying at the Godzilla hotel I'm like so tripped out Welcome to Hotel Gracery located in Shinjuku. This is the room. Look how cute. It's so small. Guys, look how crazy this bathroom is. This is the shower. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like it. Then, in order to activate like all the electrical, you have to insert the key card. I don't know why it's not. Oh, there you go. And then to put it back on, save power. Ooh, it's pretty small. Me and my brother are gonna be smushed, but here's the view. We are in Shinjuku area. This is crazy, like it doesn't even feel real. So it's 6 p.m. right now. I am hanging by a thread because back at home it's like 2 a.m. I think. But I'm trying to stay up at least two more hours till 8 p.m. so I don't wake up like too early tomorrow. Look at that elevator, so cool. I see it. Ah, scary. So let's see where the night takes us. Even the toilets are crazy. <laughs> they have 
Oh my god, that's so funny. We're gonna try it out, y'all. We're gonna try it out. Water pressure, okay. Okay, mirror vibes. Wait, can I stand here too? This is crazy. We're gonna have like a science experiment trying to figure this out. All right guys, I've officially been up for pretty much like 24 hours. So I'm going to knock out, but I will update you guys and continue the festivities tomorrow. And you'll probably thank me because I doubt you want to hear me sleepily ramble. So see you tomorrow. Okay guys, I slept a long time, but it's okay because I needed to recharge. I'm just putting on a little bit of skin tint with SPF on and like some bronzer and stuff just to put myself together a little bit because we're going to go explore. I don't know how long we're going to be out and just in case like I want to take a cute picture or something. I don't know. I just want to feel really like ready on this trip. So just getting ready, trying to wake myself up. Gonna <laughs> probably get some coffee soon. But yeah, let me hurry up. I'm done. Everyone here has the most beautiful, like skin-like soft glam. So I wanted to kind of replicate that. I might actually do makeup like this the whole trip, but love it, we're ready to go. Just have this blue dress on. And then my mom brought me this crossbody. And I think to go with it, I'll wear black sandals, even though I didn't really want to, but it's fine. Let's test how comfortable these babies are. I typically would probably wear like gold heels and stuff kind of jewelry but not today <laughs> and then with the bag i think it'll match so let's go okay first stop starbucks well last night we explored around shinjuku and just got food and that was literally it but look at the menu so cute i was so fascinated by everything and that's why i'm narrating most of this and did it kind of like montage style so i could talk back look how cute she is oh my god i know she wanted to be recorded but she did we're on the hunt to go to a ramen spot my mom wants to try a specific one so it's like a 20 minute walk just know when you come to Tokyo, it's a lot of walking. And this heat right now, it's 96 degrees, but just happy to be here. This Starbucks is so much better than the US. I still haven't gone to 7-Eleven, we're gonna do that. But yeah, ooh. Literally feel like a kid in a candy store right now. My parents, how cute, third wheeling. But yeah, these feel like I'm walking on clouds. I love them, I'm probably gonna wear them the whole trip even if they don't back. Okay, voiceover Addy back at it again. I'm switching back and forth because honestly, sometimes I was just observing and not even talking. And I want to give you guys a mix of both and give you like knowledge from the trip also. It's like one of those POV walkthrough videos, except shaky as well. These are actually so comfortable. I'm so happy. I can't wait to shop later. Like there's food and stuff everywhere. Look at the Barbie you see. I need to get a sound like her. Oh, Gucci. Okay, Gucci. Hopefully, guys, I'm vlogging on my phone because it's so much easier to just hold my phone and do everything. But hopefully, it's mom. Our supposed to be 20 minute walk honestly turned into like 45 minutes to an hour. It was so hot. We did not know where we were going. The maps, it was just, it was a lot. But we stopped at a mall to use the restroom and stuff and just sightseeing. And then we also stopped at one of the mini marts. Look how delicious this chicken looks. Like, oh my God. We stopped for water because it was no joke, so hot. My face should say it all. I did not need to do a two week shred. That's all I need to say. I will be losing 15 pounds on this trip. After getting lost so many times, we finally made it to the restaurant and we were relieved to see we weren't the only crazy people waiting in line for ramen in 96 degree weather, but it felt like 115. Look at my face. Like literally I've never sweat this much in my entire life. But here we are ordering ramen. I love the vending machines and everything in Japan is so short. It's so cute and very tight spaces. So. 
keep that in mind if you're planning to travel to Japan. Here we are shuffling to our seat. The wait wasn't too bad. Honestly, all of the food places have a wait, but it is well worth it, y'all. I'm sorry about the amount of food that I'm going to show in this vlog, but food is one of my favorite parts of traveling, trying out different cultures, cuisines, and this ramen was delicious. I'm dreaming about it. It was so, so good. I'm going to show you Ichiran, which is another famous <laughs> Japanese spot. There's my mom. Shut up, mom. Um, later on, but this was like a different They have a bar in the street. <laughs> with crepes it's way better now temperature wise i think because it was too like early it was like 12 when we we're walking here is the hotel we stayed at right in the center of shinjuku shinjuku is so cool and very interesting i'll talk more about that later but i finally wanted to stop inside in real 7-eleven so here i was and i was so so excited to find the smoothies if you know you know so these are basically just frozen fruit in a cup and they have a smoothie machine after you check out so yeah honestly i went to 7 eleven so many times and i regret i was searching for a fruit sandal my brother got one one day but i never found them again and there's a lot of things i regret and want to try when i go back again but the smoothie was so delicious and fresh um, more of it will be on my tiktok vlog but then we went home to nap and then the sun sets a little early here um so i think it was around seven here already um here's shinjuku at night guys this was so crazy this is piss alley also if you recognize it and it just smelled so delicious here we are scoping out all the food i believe this was still a weekend this was a sunday so it was a little more crowded this day so we did come back to piss alley um, but today we got revolving sushi bar this is just one of the many we had to try some sushi look at the miso soup arriving oh my god delicious this sushi first time trying japanese sushi in japan um you could see the freshness of the fish i didn't like this by the way i don't know what that was this was like a melon icy <laughs> This is like so cute. I'm obsessed. I couldn't find my white shorts, but I think the skirt is actually cuter. Not quite sure what we're gonna do today yet. I think we're gonna go to Shibuya and Harajuku and do like shopping and looking around. So I think this is perfect. It's hot. I'm gonna do like the same bite makeup again in a little bit, but I just need to wake up and get some Starbucks first. So what we're going to do. I wish I had more crossbodies that match, but it's okay. Let's go. The Starbucks is so good. I wanna get a caramel macchiato again, but but I want to try something else. I don't know. Off to Starbucks again. Look, y'all, they got a taco meat sandwich. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the egg salad. But so many options at the 7 Eleven. Got my cafe latte again. Like so interesting. I could be here for hours. <laughs> what is that? Oh, Winnie the Pooh. There's so much alcohol to choose from. Oh my god, that sake looks so good. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my suitcase situation. Hey, okay, full well, outfit of the day, makeup on, and let's go. Okay, so this was our first day really learning the train and taking the train. Thankfully, my brother was really savvy with this. So we took the train to Shibuya. This is the famous Shibuya crossing. It was so surreal to see this in person and so cool. But yeah, my number one tip is download the Suica app. It would have saved us so much trouble. We kind of went through a lot because my mom lost the ticket. Uh, it spits out the ticket on the other end and it was just a lot. But here we are excited to just be there and finally shop around. Around. So cute! Oh my god, I have to come back here. Going to the mall, they have a Nintendo store and Pokemon. So cute. Oh my god, is that 
she buys? Fun fact, we actually got to get a family pick before we got yelled at to leave the store if we weren't going to buy anything. Uh, so yeah, we ended up just going upstairs. I went straight to the Nintendo store because this is seriously my childhood. I was freaking out like, oh my god, I can't believe it. All the Mario Kart stuff, Animal Crossing. I was like a kid in a candy store. The Kirby's! I did get a Kirby headband and a Kirby plush. And actually, I was really surprised that a lot of what we spent in Tokyo was way cheaper than it would be in America um, so that was pretty good here's the Pokemon store I didn't really go in but then I saw this like betta fish uh, tank in a restaurant I thought it was super cool the malls are so cool I'm going to the vape store because Sunny wants to get something here so I'm going to FaceTime him Again, I wasn't supposed to film, but I snuck this anyways. I got Sunny a hat that you guys will see later. Um, and this store was just so cool. Everything in Japan is just so techy and awesome. We ended up stopping for this lunch that was so delicious and fresh. Everything is so fresh and so good. And the way we were eating for so cheap was amazing. Now we're looking at makeup. Okay, sorry, I don't know why the phone does the lights like this. I kind of want this. So just continuing along looking at everything me and my mom went to a Sanrio store too and then we went to Takashita Street and Harajuku but first actually a little like two blocks away is Anakuma Cafe I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok but the bear the Anakuma basically gives you your coffee and it's the coolest thing ever me my mom and dad were literally cracking up this entire time my dad still laughs about it to this day it is just <laughs> the funniest thing ever like seriously this is a pick-me-up we needed in the middle of the day because the heat and the walking is just not for the week so then this is the my pig cafe we couldn't go this day because you need reservations but you'll see there's a story time about the pig cafe later so stay tuned um another sanrio store because my mom loves little twin stars and they didn't have a lot this strawberry best strawberry i've ever had in my life still dream about it then we went to piss alley and we stopped at one of the restaurants that had open seating this is some plum wine the alcohol it's different in Japan also and we had the most amazing skewers this was so delicious like I'm my mouth is watering <laughs> done we're on like the fifth mile of the day did I show you guys I don't even think I did I had to stop at Nike to buy some new slides because my feet are just done they're really cute though and it's time for a shower and bed honestly I like didn't realize I know people say it's a lot of walking, but like I didn't realize it was like five to six miles a day kind of walking. But yeah, my makeup, but gotta live life, only live once. But your girl is not used to this. This is like a workout. I've never been this fit in my life. So yeah, if you're planning a trip to Tokyo or Japan in general, be prepared. Also the trains, everything's kind of far apart like i thought it would be like new york city where you want to just jump to another city jump on the subway real quick be there like 10 minutes no some of the places where my sweat are like 30 minutes or more and then a lot of walking on top of that but maybe we just don't know an easier way i don't know if there's uber but it's getting loud so i'll talk to you guys later walking off the best food of my life. I feel like I lost my gut. I got my abs back. This looks so good. So yeah, I was just powering through at this point, trying to get home, trying to get home. Every time I saw that, I knew we were almost home, but quick intermission, y'all. Hi, you guys. It's Ariel from the past here. I'm actually currently planning out outfits and packing and doing jewelry and all that stuff. So I thought I would plug it in because I know that this video has been a lot of like sound and montage. I just got some new jewelry in from Ana Luisa. This is the last set I got from them and they are so beautiful. All of Ana Luisa's jewelry is meant to be long lasting and tarnish resistant so i have to take these items with me on vacation especially because you know i'm gonna be sweating a lot doing a lot being in the water <laughs> so yeah and all of the items are actually strength and humidity tested so so gorgeous also you guys this ring right here 
so stunning. Lastly, these earrings just give me life. Like the quality on these is really it. Look how elevated and gorgeous. And all of these items are affordable. They start at just $39 and come with a two year warranty, even though you probably won't even need to use it because they are all amazing. But yeah, definitely packing off six of my Ana Luisa jewelry items along for my trip. They are very much needed. Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. You guys could click the link in the description box and use code ADIEL20 to shop Ana Luisa jewelry. Hey guys, so I'm filming a, a TikTok get ready with me. So you guys want to watch it. Check it out there. I'm finally wearing the dress I was so excited about. But yeah, it's day three. Three. Technically, I want to do like a winged liner and just a little bit more fuller coverage because I want to take some pictures today. I'm trying to get it done really fast. I got a caramel macchiato. <clears throat> but yeah, yesterday we walked six miles, so I definitely recovered and recharged. And now I'm going to get ready. I want to do a haul of the things that I bought too, but let's do this. I'm ready. There's a dress. So cute. It's going to be my outfit of the day. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wear my new nikes with this because nothing else is comfortable the ones that i got on the first day they're so comfortable with the material of them they give me blisters when i walk so we cannot be having that so yeah i'll probably bring those though just for pictures or something i'm just gonna pack my stuff up and yeah today we're heading to the fish market it's like 30 minutes away the town so we're gonna take the train and everything and it should be fun <laughs> Yay, so this is the famous, excuse my pronunciation, uh, Tsuzuki Fish Market, and it was amazing. Honestly, we got here a little late. Things closed here pretty early, and it started raining. That's fresh wasabi, by the way. It was so cool to see in person and all the fish, but they have stands of tons of amazing food, and once it started raining, we actually went to this restaurant that my mom really wanted to eat at, and it was really good. This was the fresh fish that I ended up getting. They're known for, like, their uni, and I actually we tried it here the first time and i did not like it but it's okay we tried it um then we got more strawberries and these mochi strawberry desserts that are just to die for they are so good i definitely regret not coming back here a second time and i know my family also agrees so definitely this is a must go and next time first off we're gonna go to dinner we ended up chilling in the hotel for a while because tired but let's go we're at the famous if you look up a lot of japanese cuisine on like tiktok and stuff this is one of the number one recommended spots and let me tell you i will be dreaming about this forever it was one of the best meals i've ever had in my entire life it's this breaded beef cutlet that you fry in the stove oh. It was so tender and just delicious, like delicious. Oh my God. Like I wish I could relive this moment and I cleared my entire plate. The side dishes were also amazing. Now we are shopping. Then we went to Don Quixote. It is famous for having more affordable souvenirs. So I kind of went crazy. This was such a chaotic experience. I kept getting bumped left and right, honestly, but it's, it was a vibe. It was fun. Successful day. Just finished shopping for all my souvenirs at Don Quixote. Um, and now I'm elevating my feet. I actually took a bath too. Hopefully this helps me tomorrow. They are in such pain, but we still gotta go. We got two more days, two more full days to explore tokyo so i want to be as fully rested as possible i still want to do the haul for you guys um the pictures my brother took fire ready for the day i still need lipstick but cute i was gonna put something under but the thing i brought doesn't look good so fine got some lashes and we're ready for the day look at all the different stuff they have this is like vitamins they have all tempers here i want the houses so nice we're in 
It's called Jujo. I am so happy we came here. My mom did all the research on this place and look at the onigiris and just everything was so fresh. One thing I love to do when traveling to other countries or just other places is look at the fresh fruit and vegetables. It's just so cool to see what they have and just everything's so fresh and we wanted to try everything. Look at those scallions, like what? And then they had an alley here with like a bunch of food as well. We got gyoza delicious we checked out daiso honestly i like the daisos in america a little bit better all the ones that i went to weren't that special um took a picture of a car for sunny then we went to this udon restaurant guys i don't even really like udon that much but this was the best udon i've ever had in my entire life it actually made me like udon this is actually the owner um, my mom found this place i'll try to put the name in the description box for you guys it is a must stop and i love that we stopped here because you really got to see a lot of the culture of japan especially because this trip we didn't get a chance to go outside of tokyo but look at him making the noodles delicious and honestly the best tempura i've also had in my life so 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 good we got one kiwi and one grapefruit so good i really want to try that gelato too but another time hopefully i find a place tomorrow did some more walking around this tea this fruit tea was so fresh everything in japan so fresh and then i thought this was so cute the local schools uh the kids pictures up with the help of my mom i managed to get into this ignore the background but it is so cute i can't wait for the pics and pics. i did not try it on in my haul because i could not get it on for myself <laughs> but we got it just realized i could have just closed the door but it's fine Tonight, my parents went on a date night, so me and my brother went to try out the famous Ichiran ramen. And guys, it is worth the entire hype. You'll see I went again, actually. And what I mean by everything's more affordable in Japan, this entire meal for both of us was 16 US dollars. Like, are you kidding me? So basically, again, you order on the vending machine and then they give you papers to put your preference. And um, they had the perforated dots around the their recommendations so i followed the exact recommendations that they recommended for my first time and uh, i'm literally dreaming about this so i got seated at 23 which i thought was funny because i was born on the 23rd so i always end up seeing that number um but yeah so then everything is behind the stall and you're separated from the person next to you so here was the servers working and then they put the bamboo sheet down and here I am just kind of admiring everything. They come and give you things that you purchase. And guys, $16 for extras and everything, drinks and everything, crazy. That's what I mean. You spend majority on the flight to get to Japan. And then after that, you're eating good. So here's my ramen. And they bowed down. I showed it at the end when I went back the second time because I didn't, wasn't expecting it. And I was balancing between TikTok and YouTube. But oh my god, so delicious. They have one in New York City. And I kind of want to go to the New York City one when i go to new york next month to compare it but the egg oh, delectable like literally everything 10 out of 10. another day another slay so cute love this dress i'm so excited makeup came out bomb so let's go okay starting a new day this is nakameguro in tokyo so we actually came here to go oh my god the sweat the sweat was real every day was so hot i can't stress enough go in the spring or winter or fall or i don't know but this is the famous uh meguro river and they say like in the springtime this is where all the cherry blossoms are so definitely want to come back but you guys know i'm a coffee lover so we had to check out the starbucks reserve roastery and it was just so cool to see i've never been to one of their reserves before so i really wanted to see this one and anytime i'm traveling and they have one i definitely want to go um it was cool to see the beans roasting the tokyo roast and just the menu and everything that they had there it was four stories high and it was just so cool so they had a coffee flight that you could get and just a bunch of cool options the pastries and the sandwiches were delicious you could also pick the espresso that you wanted in your drink so i ended up getting oh here's the matcha of course still didn't try matcha at this point you guys will see i finally got the chance to try later um this is so cool i did not know i actually got the olive oil drink um it was interesting it wasn't bad but i, I don't think i would get it again it was really good though um 
so yeah tried that and then outside uh, my brother saw this orange uh, fresh orange juice machine and it was just so cool to see everything so fresh okay now here's where the story takes a turn so we wanted to go to the my pig cafe look at that one looking at me like i'm a snack like literally anyways we have a story to come with that we're at the pig cafe we're honestly cracking up laughing like it was honestly a really cool experience and we were really excited because japan has a lot of animal cafes so we decided to pick the pigs um here they are playing um they kept like nibbling at my slippers and my feet i feel like i had so many blisters so maybe that's why i should have listened to my mom and just covered my feet this one was sleeping and then this one came on my lap but then watch this next one bit me y'all watch <laughs> dude i don't know why i thought they were like dogs that they wouldn't do that so after that i was done i was like get me out <laughs> honestly the 60s still laugh to this day but then we went back to harajuku and we did some thrift shopping i didn't get anything um it was more pricey at this thrift store um and someone dancing and we went back for a strawberry fetish this was honestly the best strawberries that we had so we had to come back and i wanted another mochi strawberry so i found a different one here and one of my bucket list goals for japan was actually to try the mcdonald's because i've never tried an international mcdonald's so we went ahead and did that i got the shaka chicken and the green onion fries and everything was delicious i was honestly shook i mean mcdonald's is good regardless and then we did some more shopping i was really fascinated by these shirts with the bras in them that store is uniqlo sister store goo i actually didn't do much clothing shopping because honestly i was just exhausted and didn't have the mental capacity to but finally since it was the last day i had to get matcha finally so we went to the matcha tokyo and it was delicious but it was so strong i was bugging out on the way to this restaurant like literally caffeinated to the max then we went to this father and son owned restaurant and honestly this was a family favorite of ours it was so 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 delicious everything was homemade just made in front of you and it was so cool to watch i ended up getting scallops which i slurped the whole plate and a japanese stir fry it was delicious my brother got some wagyu that's not the wagyu that he was cooking here it is now and it was just so such a great experience such great hosts amazing and then here is a car i saw on the way home in a pomeranian and then this is the next morning i had to go to ichiran one more time like i told you guys this was my last meal and i just had to come back i got the bow this time so had to come back for the last this whole vlog this food <laughs> then it was checkout at the hotel i filmed this little godzilla section and at the airport i got mcdonald's one more time i got two sandwiches didn't finish them all i just honestly wanted to try everything at the airport since it was really hitting me like wow i'm leaving japan and i don't know when i'm gonna be back again and i just wanted to try everything so that explains this starbucks run also the peach frappuccino got some banana kit kats on the plane and we were back off to hawaii first stop was leonard's of course I went to Oahu and here is our beautiful Airbnb and we did not have enough Japan because we stopped for dinner at Japanese hot pot which was delicious it's a little bit different than um, Chinese hot pot which my mom is Chinese if you guys don't know this delicious dish served at the end I forget what it's called but it was so good and here is one of my favorite coffee spots so yeah, just enjoy this little montage of Hawaii clips. I honestly didn't vlog that much in Hawaii since we were more relaxing. But just a hack, a lot of people were actually asking how we were able to do Hawaii and Japan. And it actually was way more affordable to fly out to Japan from Hawaii. Um, so that's where I got the whole idea from because California to Hawaii, you can find really inexpensive flights, uh, some parts during the year. And then um, from Japan, the flights were more affordable than flying from like LAX or New York so we did extra stops and it was pretty it was intense it was a lot but in my opinion I think it was well worth it and I also do want to take a moment just to raise awareness to what's going on in Maui right now and link some resources down below because Hawaii is just absolutely beautiful and it's just absolutely devastating what is happening over there. Um, here are my really shitty snorkeling clips because my camera case was blurry. 
but yeah just enjoying all of the scenery we saw a turtle at the beach which was just amazing i love seeing turtles in hawaii and this was my first time in oahu kind of like just seeing the whole island and it was absolutely unreal so much to see so much scenery um the food wasn't as good as it is in japan but we still had so much fun this is mcdonald's hawaiian breakfast and this was so cool to see at the river at the lake i took some pictures for my parents for their 25th anniversary anniversary and overall we had an amazing trip okay guys so we are going to end the vlog here but yeah I'm back home as you can hear from my voice oh I'm not adjusting to the dryness in California I think that's what it is I just completely lost my voice and then guys I'm never eating Wendy's again I honestly Wendy's is a childhood favorite of mine but I had it and I don't know what it is I think maybe because I haven't had like well it's weird because I had McDonald's in Japan I really haven't had fast fast food until now especially american fast food and i feel like my body freaked out so all of yesterday i was having the most intense stomach pain slowly getting back into work today and i wanted to conclude this video with a haul of all of the souvenirs and things that i picked up in japan first of all i want to say thank you to my parents for taking my brother and i on this trip it was so much fun and yeah it was so different if you guys want to hear more of my thoughts and recommendations and stuff i could definitely say that for another video i don't want to like ramble too much about it but it was just such a cool and unique experience definitely what i imagined but also so different from what i imagined but yeah i'm not gonna lie i kind of went overboard with the souvenirs even coming back home i'm like girl why'd you get i'm like girl you went off i guess but you know when in japan only in japan once unless you know i go back but that was kind of the mindset I had and then I wanted to pick up things for myself and then for others so yeah first I got this uh, Tokyo banana X Kit Kat um, I actually bought this on the plane and it is so good y'all so freaking good then I'm kind of just gonna go through the bags actually let me start with what I got at the Sanrio store I actually got way more and I spent so much money because I wasn't calculating the currency in my head correctly and then I had to return everything and pick what I really wanted but anyway first I got these my melody hair clips for when I'm doing my makeup I just thought it would be so cute because my hair clips honestly aren't anything special then I got a hello kitty pen and also some hello kitty scissors um, and then I got three keychains so one is definitely for myself that's the thing I have to like lay out all of this <laughs> now that I got it because like in my head I was saying okay this is for this person this is for that person but now that I'm actually home, I have to like lay everything out and pick. But these are not just Hello Kitty keychains. They actually on the back, here's a design of this one. And then there's this one. And this one says Japan on it. So I actually, my car keys are like so ugly. They do not have cute keychains on them. So I am going to like have so many keychains on my keys. And they're probably all going to be from Japan, but it's fine. So next, I got these two shirts. Should I take them out? I don't know. I got a Hello Kitty shirt. She's wearing a kimono and has an umbrella. So cute. And then I just got a Japan shirt. I love getting shirts and shot glasses from everywhere that I go. Um, and I always sleep in a big t-shirt. So love these. So then I had to stock up on the Kit Kats. Um, and by the way, when you shop in Japan, you cannot open the tax-free items until you get back. So I haven't tried any of these yet. Um, I got the matcha flavor green tea strawberry and this is an orange flavored Kit Kat so I'm so excited and I got a few of these for my boyfriend's family to just like put out and have them all try it too then I got shot glasses these are all the same I believe one is for me and then I got two for friends this is a keychain I picked out I think I'm gonna give this to my friend who's actually Japanese and yeah this is so cute it reminded me of her and then I got a Cinerol and a My Melody mirror it actually has a comb in there too yeah and I felt like a kid in a candy store and honestly the Don Quixote was so overwhelming like so overwhelming I was getting knocked around by so many people and I was like about to lose my shit so I was grabbing just whatever I liked which explains the overindulgence but yeah that was actually all from the second trip I made more freaking Kit Kats high chews a fun fact so there's like a long tax-free line right and we we're all waiting in the tax-free line and there's a bunch of these Kit Kats on the way to check out and like shopping on well, as you're checking out, right? This lady literally takes her kid and pushes all of us. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm trying to buy something, right? Pushes all of us. We're online. 
so first of all it's like it's a tiny line where we're online pushing us grabs all the Kit Kats I'm like girl and I literally like shoved my way through and had to grab some because she was gonna take them off like girl I was waiting too I was trying to buy that too like wait online but anyways next I got a Kirby glasses case so cute I want to say Kirby's like my favorite character just in general like I love Kirby uh, I feel like I was definitely living my childhood for real speaking of Kirby at the Nintendo store I picked up this plushie and I also picked up a headband and these are Kirby sleeping clips and I got a sushi keychain for my best friend I got chopsticks I really wanted chopsticks from Japan I really wanted a whole set but obviously I'm not at my own apartment right now so I was like maybe maybe next time and honestly I thought about it and I was like I don't really host that much and then like how many times am I gonna have chopsticks needed for like for more than five people you feel me and then this is a little chopstick holder rest how cute me making an absolute mess um I got Hello Kitty socks at the airport love them one of them is in the wash right now but the other one had Hello Kitty at Mount Fuji so cute so let's see I got a coin purse for myself um this I got for my boyfriend's mom um it's a lucky cat coin purse got some magnets also I forgot magnets is also another thing that I keep on my mini fridge of souvenirs of places I go then I got this I just figured for souvenir purposes and it was really affordable I just figured let me get the three of these a little my melody keychain this is a Pokemon contacts case I used to collect Pokemon cards and trade them and all that so next is this mirror I just thought this was so beautiful got this Shiba Inu magnet probably gonna give this to my boyfriend's aunt for her fridge more <laughs> magnets told you y'all I just started grabbing what I liked this is like a different shot glass this is you guys have probably seen me talk about it before the Utina flyaway stick so much cheaper in Japan I should have got more actually this I'm gonna give to my boyfriend's uncle it's like a super cool this is for me it is a Kirby keychain for my key <laughs> got this super cute magnet I just thought she was so cute how to get toad something toad I wear shower caps and my boyfriend makes fun of me and says I look like toad so I wanted to get a toad shower cap but I couldn't find one but it's okay this is another pretty keychain then um for my best friend's sister i got this lucky cat and then another lucky cat this is a karomi keychain and then this is a solar panel waving cat that i'm gonna give to my boyfriend's grandparent this i actually found in hawaii but when i asked my best friend like what character she liked she actually told me that she just loves like avocado <laughs> and i know she loves sushi which is why i got her this sushi one but i saw this at a kawaii store in hawaii and it's an avocado nail clipper and she's my nail tech so i thought that was so cute and I know she's gonna love it and then also I got a pool floaty because there's a pool here in the backyard and I just wanted like a Hawaii pool floaty this little hula girl luggage tag and then I got this shot glass so cute but yeah I just made a mess also how to get the ube bread if you know you know okay so last things this is the Kirby sleeping headband I was talking about I got him this hula girl which her hand broke off always something with these so I got him this because when his car got stolen they stole the hula girl that was in it but it's okay it should be a really easy glue on then this hat from the bathing ape store is actually so much cheaper in Japan I was like what I got him this little magnet with all the like anime girls on it and then a Godzilla keychain <laughs> from the hotel so yeah this is probably so long probably longer than the entire vlog if you've made it this far I love you thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this haul and just everything it was so amazing to take you guys along with me crazy to think that two weeks has flown by already and back to the normal schedule but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what content you want to see next while i'm home and i will see you guys next time bye everyone